Greetings to the state of Israel. We are anonymous. Ever since the encounter that has angered all of Israel, which concerns the three missing Israeli teens, who were found deceased in Hebron, within Palestinian territories, has made the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, take a pledge, and an oath, to bring about vengeance, that Satan himself, has not yet created. Such message, has made the citizens of Israel, wage war, and to rid Palestine, once, and for all, Israel, for over a decade, your violation of international law, and your crimes against humanity, have not, gone unnoticed. The oppression you place upon Palestinian territories have angered not only the anonymous collective, but all of mankind. The disgusting authority you bring to the people that came to accept you, but now despise you, because of your ruthless manner, and your violent ways, have made our legion, interfere, countless, times, the Israeli Defense Force, and their barbaric and inhumane actions, in where they bombed, raided, and disrupted Gaza, and many other Palestinian locations to their very core, are only begging for more blood, the citizens of Palestine, specifically the West Bank of Gaza, call this event, one of the biggest Israeli attacks to date, and ultimately, Palestine, has reached their point of screaming justice to the face of evil, instead of organizing an investigation that would lead to the perpetrators of this heinous act that led to the death of the three Israeli teens, Israel, insisted an all-out collective punishment attack against Palestine. During this time, revenge attacks against Palestine grew rampant. One such case was a 17-year-old Palestinian boy, Muhammad Abu Kir, was kidnapped by the citizens of Israel. According to autopsy reports, they forced him to consume gasoline. They then burned him alive. His cousin Tarek Abu Kir, suffered the same fate, yet lived, miraculously. He was beaten by the Israeli police and then prosecuted. The media call it, a revenge attack. We call it, genocide ethnic cleansing. Many events such as these have occurred countless times all over the so-called occupied territories. The IDF has killed nine Palestinians in search of the three missing Israelis. Over 250 Palestinian citizens were prosecuted under false charges. And scores of people injured over IDF raids and non-strategic bombing runs. In short, over 600 innocent Palestinians have suffered the wrath of Israel. The numbers continue to rise each hour. Even as we speak, Netanyahu still has no credible evidence to prove that Hamas, or even if the Palestinian people, committed these crimes. An anonymous council was immediately organized to combat this situation. And for over a week and a half, we came to a conclusion. We've been fighting Israel and their terrorist state for over four years, and we have not grown weary or tired. It has only made us stronger. Therefore, we are calling upon the Anonymous Collective, and the elite hacker groups to join our crusade, and to wage cyber war against the state of Israel once more. This Friday will be a day in where Israel will feel fear tingling in their servers, and homes. It will be a day of solidarity and resistance. Diplomacy has never functioned with Israel, and cooperation with the American Israeli Public Affairs Committee, has only made its terroristic military advance further. Palestine will be liberated, and Israel will suffer the same fate Palestine has been suffering for decades under their brutal and savaging regime. No matter how dark it may seem, or how alone you may be, always remember that there are endless warriors that are operating tirelessly around the clock to stand with you, to aid you, to both fight and protect you in these unjustified acts. We are anonymous. We are legion. We will never forgive. We will never forget. To Shimon, Netanyahu, and all Israeli governmental officials, you will not escape our chaos. Expect us.